Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sutha. In previous session, we discussed what is the recurrence relation and what is a homogeneous linear recurrence relation with constant coefficient. So we are continuing with the same topic and we will discuss these topics, non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation. Now, first, what is a non-homogeneous linear recurrence relation? Now, for that, First, what is the homogeneous recurrence relation that we studied in previous session? Now, for homogeneous, if right hand side equals to zero, then it is called a homogeneous recurrence relation and its solution is called a homogeneous solution. Now, for non-homogeneous, I think you got the point. Uh, if right hand side is not equals to zero, then it is called a non-homogeneous equation and its solution is called a solution, a non-homogeneous solution. Now, the solution of the non-homogeneous recurrence relation is called a particular solution. For homogeneous, it is called homogeneous solution. And for non-homogeneous, it is called a particular solution. Now, the general solution of non-homogeneous recurrence relation is called a total solution. Now, what is a total solution? It is the addition of homogeneous solution and a particular solution. That means whenever we add both these solutions, we will get a total solution for non-homogeneous recurrence relation. That is, this AR equals to ARH that stands for homogeneous uh, solution and ARP P stands for particular solution. Yeah. Now, particular solution for given right hand side. Now, for different right hand side, we have a different choice of particular solution. So let us discuss that. So first, there are I think six to seven types. So first type, whenever constant is there in the right hand side, we take the form as constant P. Second, whenever linear function, that means some D0 plus D1R is there, then we will take P0 plus P1R. Uh, third one, D raised to N. So whenever D raised to N is there, then we choose particular solution as P D raised to N or uh, this fails, then Pn dA raised to n. Mm, next, an nth degree polynomial. So whenever we have polynomial in the right hand side, that is d0 plus d1r plus d2r square up to dn r raised to n, then we take nth degree polynomial uh, as, just take d0 as P1, uh, p0, uh, then d1 as p1, uh, then p2r square and pn r raised to n. Uh, next, whenever we have, we have an exponential function that is db raised to r and provided b is not a characteristic root, then we take pb raised to r. Now remember, whenever b is a characteristic root, we have a different uh, type and that we will discuss in next session. And last, if we have sin dn or cos dn, then the choice of particular solution will be a cos dn plus b sin dn. Now let us take examples, the first one. Solve the recurrence relation a n plus two minus phi a n plus one plus six a n equals to two. Now here you can check that the right hand side is not equals to zero. So that means it is a non-homogeneous solution. So for that we need to find first a homogeneous solution as well as a particular solution. And whenever we add these both, then we will get the total solution. Uh, now, the corresponding homogeneous recurrence relation of the given recurrence that is given by uh, just take right hand side equals to zero. So, this will be the homogeneous equation. Now, uh, first step what is the characteristic equation? So, the characteristic equation will be here the order of the equation is 2. So, alpha square minus phi alpha plus 6 equals to 0. Now, what are the factors of this? And that is uh, alpha minus 3 and alpha minus 2. So, we will get alpha equals to 3 and 2. Now, for homogeneous solution, we have two types. Either the roots can be different or the roots can be same. So, here the roots are different. So, what will be the homogeneous solution? The homogeneous solution will be this a n h equals to a1 this first uh, root raised to n plus a2 second root raised to n so a1 3 raised to n plus a2 2 raised to n 
so this is the homogeneous solution now for particular solution just see the right hand side the right hand side is a constant so i think it will be the first case so uh, now for the particular solution we consider the term f of n that means right hand side uh, it is a constant so particular solution will be constant p hence a n that is the choice of particular solution that is p for every n now so as p is constant so a n plus 1 and a n plus 2 both are constants and that is p now substitute these values that is a n a n plus 1 a n plus 2 in the given recurrence relation so just substitute it as p so p minus 5 p plus 6 p equals to 2 so 2 p equals to 2 hence p equals to 1 so our particular solution is 1 and it's the particular solution and it is denoted like this a n p stands for particular so it is a particular solution now hence the total solution is the addition of homogeneous solution and a particular solution and that is a n h plus a n p what is a n h that is a 1 3 raised to n plus a 2 2 raised to n plus 1 and that is a particular solution so this is the final answer easy now second example find general solution of a r plus 2 minus 4 a r equals to r now again you can see this is a non-homogeneous equation so first we will find a homogeneous solution and then a particular solution and then we will add it so the corresponding homogeneous recurrence relation of the given recurrence that is given by a r plus 2 minus 4 a r and that is equal to 0 just take right hand side equal to 0 then we will get a homogeneous recurrence relation now what is the characteristic equation here the order is 2 so what will be it that will be alpha square minus 4 equals to 0 now what are the roots of this and that is alpha equals to plus or minus 2 now same uh, for homogeneous solution we will have two possibilities either the roots are uh, distinct or they are same but here the roots are distinct as 2 and minus 2 are obviously different so the homogeneous solution will be arh that is this constant into first root raised to n plus constant second root raised to n but here it is r so it is r so this is the recurrence relation and homogeneous solution now for the particular solution we consider the term f of r and what is f of r here f of r is r okay and that is a linear function so it will be the second case so for linear function the choice of particular solution is this p0 plus p1 r now so that is what would be a r a r will be p0 plus p1 r now uh, in question what are the terms given that is a r plus 2 and a r so uh, substitute the values of a r in the given the recurrence relation so what is the recurrence relation a r plus 2 minus 4 a r equals to r now a r is p0 plus p1 r but here we have a r plus 2 so just simply replace r by r plus 2 so this term so that is p0 plus p1 and here we have r plus 2 so replacing r by r plus 2 minus 4 times this ar that means p0 plus p1 r equals to r uh, just uh, open the brackets so you will get p0 plus r p1 plus 2 p1 minus 4 p0 minus 4 p1 r equals to r now minus 3 p1 r plus 2 p1 minus 3 p0 equals to r now comparing the coefficients of r both the sides so here the coefficient of r is 1 and here left hand side the coefficient of r is minus 3 p1 so p1 will be minus 1 by 3 now comparing the constant terms so in left hand side the constant term is 2p1 minus 3p0 
and right inside the constant term is nothing so just take it as zero but we have already calculated this you know, p1 that is minus 1 by 3 so just put here p1 minus 1 by 3 and you will get p0 and that will be minus 2 by 9 so the particular solution is ar raised to p that means the particular solution and that is minus 2 by 9 minus 1 by 3 r how this is the particular solution we have chosen so p0 plus p1 r so p0 is minus 2 by 9 and p1 minus 1 by 3 to r so this is a particular solution but it is a non homogeneous equation so we for the total solution we need to add both these solutions so ar will be a1 2 raised to r plus a2 minus 2 raised to r minus this so this is the final solution now last example find the total solution of this ar plus 5 ar minus 1 plus 6 ar minus 2 equals to 3r square minus 2r plus 1 uh, now here it is obviously by just by looking you can tell that it is a non-homogeneous equation how because right hand side is non-zero now first we will find a homogeneous solution now the corresponding homogeneous recurrence relation what it will be it will be this ar plus 5 ar minus 1 plus 6 ar minus 2 that is equal to 0 now what will be the characteristic equation here the order of the equation is this this one that is 2 so the equation will be the characteristic equation will be uh, alpha square plus phi alpha plus 6 equals to 0 now what are the factors of this or uh, you can tell directly the roots so alpha will be minus 2 and minus 3 now again they are distinct or that means they are unique so what will be the homogeneous solution so the homogeneous solution of the recurrence relation will be arh uh, constant into the first roots raised to r plus constant into second root raised to r so a1 minus 2 raised to r plus a2 minus 3 raised to r so this is the homogeneous solution now for particular solution just look at the right hand side see 3r square minus 2r plus 1 so it is a quadratic form or a polynomial form so i think it will be third or fourth type uh, so it is a polynomial so the particular solution will be of the form uh, for linear form it was p0 plus p1r but now for the polynomial it is p0 plus p1r plus p2 r square now that means ar equals to p0 plus p1r plus p2 r square now in the question what are the terms ar ar minus 1 and ar minus 2 so we will calculate this so first what will be ar minus 1 just replace in this equation r by r minus 1 so it will be p0 plus p1 uh, replace r by r minus 1 so that is r minus 1 plus p2 r square so r minus 1 whole square and in same manner what will be a r minus 2 so replace r here replace r by r minus 2 so p0 plus p1 r minus 2 plus p2 r minus 2 square now uh, substitute all these values in the given recurrent relation so it will be like this uh, this is uh, the a r so p0 plus p1 r plus p2 r square plus 5 times a r minus 1 so 5 times the value of a r minus 1 plus 6 times the value of a r minus 2 and the right hand side now equating the coefficients of powers of r so 1 by 1 uh, for first uh, whenever you compare the coefficients of r square you will get 12 p2 equals to 3 because see here right hand side the coefficient of r square is 3 and whenever you equate the coefficients you will get 12 p2 left hand side now uh, second whenever you compare the coefficient of r you will get 34 p2 minus 12 p1 equals to 2 and 
whenever you compare the constant terms right hand side the constant term is 1 so that is why here it is 1 and uh, left hand side whenever you calculate it it will be 12 p0 minus 17 p1 plus 29 p2 now we have three equations here the value of p2 you can get so just substitute the value of p2 in second equation you will get p1 and substitute values of p1 and p2 you will get p0 so solving about these three equations you will get p1 p2 and p0 hence the particular solution is arp 71 by 282 plus 13 by 24 plus 1 by 4 r square so this will be the particular solution and the total solution or the general solution will be the summation of both these solutions that means the homogeneous solution and the particular solution and that is this so in next lecture uh, we will discuss uh, remaining three examples of the remaining types thank you